Evening, driver. You take over service 6093 at Whitemore Junction, and you're going as far as Peterborough. When the next end of block is clear, you may depart for Peterborough. So, reverse to neutral. You set the AWS, instrument lights, headlights, brake to step 6. And wait for a clear road towards Peterborough. So, this scenario is called 6093. 1850 Wisbeck East to D-size DPA. When the next signal in front of you clears, you may depart down to Peterborough. Tywings are at Whitewell Junction, 1942. We'll see passing at 8 o'clock. And then Peterborough arriving at 2015. Recommend speed is 60 miles an hour. So right for the next signal block to clear before heading um, west. So to our saying Whitemore Junction, speed limit is 10 miles an hour and we have uh, about 15 miles to Peterborough. So crossing over onto the Alt Main, I think. Alt Main. Yeah, Alt is towards Cambridge, I think. It's further south. Let's go on to the down main towards Peterborough. So, we're on the ATS uh, Peterborough to Cambridge route available on ATS. I think without a subscription, without a subscription to the site, it is 20 quid. But if you do get, if you do get a subscription, it's half price. So, 10 quid. So the scenario is set in 1994 because I recently bought the Wicking Town Table for it's basically just the Great Eastern Main Line from Liverpool Street to Norwich with branches off towards Ely, Cambridge, Peterborough. And the service is in Block, I think it's LD, the freight one for East Anglia. So yeah, as I get more working timetables, I can do more backdated scenarios. Because of what the one I really want to do is accept part of Victoria towards Gillingham. Because I recently bought book WB, which is Victoria and Holborn Viaduct towards Gillingham. I'm not sure if it covers the Catford Loop. I don't think it does. It also covers the line towards, I think it's from Swanley to Ashford. Set in 1988. So I think it's I think 1988. So I think you had like BR Blue, NSC. I think it's a traffic livery. Not too sure.
So yesterday, yesterday by by yesterday I mean the seventeenth of July. Um, DJ Alp, you might know him on Twitch as DJ Alp. He's a prof professional DJ that plays all across the country and Tesla Drive on also on Twitch. Uh, they're both in Manchester, so they just thought why not bring me along because you know I'm one of the best sorry creators in Chainsaw. I mean, I, I literally live in Greater Manchester, so I'm not really that far away from the city centre. So what we did is we took, met, met up in the afternoon, had a few drinks till midnight. Wanted to see the uh, Pullman HST. I think, it's from, I think it's going from Cardiff to Preston. But yeah, the power car just failed. They were divided by Piccadilly and Victoria, so... I kind of got screwed out seeing it. So it was really good to see um, Ryan and David for the first time in real life. I don't remember why I drowned because I don't really know the names of them. Well, the, I think one of those, I think, I'm pretty sure one of them was like a sour beer with fruit. And then the next one I had was really sweet. So I went straight from a sour beer to a sweet one. Yeah, not sure, meant to do, not sure if you meant to do that, but whatever, it happened. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully in the near future, I can attend an ATS meet. Hopefully, the one in Crew, maybe York, because I live in like just north of Manchester, so I'm kind of like halfway between Crew and York. Because getting to Crew isn't hard. Just go from uh, Rochdale to Manchester City Centre, then to Crewe. Or I can go Rochdale to Leeds to York. So you can both get into either Crewe or York isn't very difficult. Oh yeah, if you if you're wondering why the um, AP weather is a bit different, it's because Ultra Powerhouse recently updated the AP weather to include a few more weather patterns. So far the other ones that I've seen that are different are different intensities of rain. So you got light rain, you got moderate rain, you got heavy rain. Whereas before it was all just heavy rain. Yeah, I really like how AP is uh, like updating more of their stuff. I think I think Powerhouse might have something to do with it. Like Like if AP make an update to a certain product, then they could make money off it, you not know, like return investment through the powerhouse scenario that would use the update. Okay, next signal, sh next signal should be a danger because we're following that 153 from a switch. Anyway, speaking of 153s, hopefully, um, 
Oh, they were speaking, speaking of 153 as I'll start again. Um, AP recently did a poll about what products that people would want to see next. Um, for some reason, the 153 one, I would expect it a 166 because that's what people clamor for. If that's not already a meme or like a running gag. But no, the 153 came out on top, which is very unexpected. I guess 153 is to have more scope and usage than 166. Because 153 is they move they moved up to Scotland, they've operated in the north we north west, northwest, Midlands, Cornwall, Devon, Wales. That green was green. Yeah, people have been debating whether to use like a brand new 153 model or just model new cabs and just update the textures. I think from a business standpoint and like development costs, it would be a lot cheaper to make two separate cabs and you know like up update the textures rather than make a brand new 153 model. But with the new 153 model. You can have NRN, you can have GSMR, you can have multiple windows, I think. You can do all sorts. And also, you can have like more dated sounds rather than the crappy default ones. But the AP, they did have a sound pack for the 153, but when the New no, Sprinter enhancements and stock came out. The 153 was but because the old the old sound pack it covered the 150, 153, 156, and because the 150 and 156 were updated, the sound pack became redundant. So yeah, it would be nice to see the 153 updated because. It's got it's got a lot of use. Where the track come? I say, ying ying, <laughs> like a shed. I wonder if someone from Metz has put it in as an Easter egg. Oh, the emergency brakes. Oh. It shouldn't take us too long to get to get back up to sixty. I mean, I would have liked to see a uh, sixty EP because the model for the sixty of the dovetail one is good. Just the usual dovetail sound is shit. Because what I was thinking was like haul like an empty coal train out of Fitz's Ferry, then run around, then head towards either Chester, or you could run around again and head northwards. Towards Wigan. I guess you can use it on all sorts of trains. You can use it on construction, containers, stone, coal, china clay.
So due through we will see out the clock. Yeah, hopefully I'm not too late. No, oh, there's little post things. Oh yeah, I do have um, one of the AP wagon stamp packs applied to the VJs from JT. They make them sound a whole lot better. So coming up on Willsey. So which uh, which kind of train do you want? Do you like to drive the most? Passenger, freight, light engine, ECS, pulsed, engine train. I think more because more recently I've done more freight stuff. Because if you look on the ECS, there's not a lot of freight stuff because most of it is just passenger or rail tour. I think it's because passenger trains are a lot quicker than freight trains, and freight trains do take a fair while to get anywhere. Like if you're gonna do like Preston to Carlisle, you wouldn't do like a 90 and containers, you would do with Pendolino because Pendolino can do 125 rather than being just stuck at 75. But I guess it does depend on which line you're on because if the line's speed is 35, it doesn't matter if you're doing a freight train or a passenger one. Well, unless, unless the freight train is restricted to 60 miles an hour, like this one is. Right, right that summer 4 was green. Not sure about the next one because summer 4 is basically like to aspect signals. The card display play a yellow because we only have red and green. They're not like concrete. Yeah, you need to put in the um, billboard patch to make them funnier. <laughs> so coming up on Wilsey Station. Okay, I can't quite see. I think it's green. Come on, train, stop pumping.
was I fairly sure that there's an Easter egg in this cathedral with the bells? There they are. Very cool. Right, I don't know what I don't know what was wrong with the driver, but he clearly went through the barriers. Or she. Or whatever gender you want. Yeah, hopefully in, the, hopefully in the future I should be able to create more uh, Peter Cambridge scenarios. Because I could do 60s, 60s, 37s, 153, 150, 156, 158. I think that 156 is going from Liverpool to Norwich. Which today is operated by East Mid Railway. So if you want to download this for yourself, a link to the ATS will be in the description. Where you'll, where you'll be able to download this for, download this scenario for yourself and drive it. Assuming you have other requirements. And the requirements of this, they're not very big. I think you need the 153, 156, 158, 56, BGAs, 31EP, 37s. No, not as big compared to my other scenarios. You know, especially especially the ones going past Arbley. Because I think I think the requirements for that they they pretty much require you to buy the entire AP catalogue. <laughs> They shouldn't be too far off from Peterborough. Oh yeah, while I was making this, I wanted to put in some 317s in Network South East. But, like for many other people, um, when you try and place a 317 in the scenario editor, the game just crashes. Hopefully I pick and fix in the future. Because I think in 994 the 55s were still in the southern region. I think I think it was 1996 when it started being cascaded north. And had their third rail shoes removed. Say five percent, you get closer to Pebra.
So speed limit is 35 for freight trains, 40 for passenger. Oh, so next signal will be a danger. So this is, this is being a nice little run. Thirty. So over the top is the East Coast Main Line from King's Cross. If the signal Papa Seven Eleven Seven is playing a dangerous bet, press Tab to the signal for permission to pass it. Obviously, when you stop, you should really do it when you're moving. Just crossing over the river Neen, I think. Which I, th I think it's why it's called the Neen Valley, because the river Neen goes through it and it's in a valley. Therefore, Neen Valley. <laughs> like the railway. Generally pulling up to it. Proof. Climb 186. You know it. So this is Peterborough. Just ignore the fact that it's New Peterborough because in 1994 you would have the old layout with the fewer platforms. But you know, Crave license. Yeah, hopefully one day you can get the um, timetable for King's Cross to towards York at least. <clears throat> it took a, like an NT91 and like a 317 run. And also the corresponding uh, freight timetable too.
So this is Peterborough, where the video ends. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the short run from Whitemore to uh, Peterborough. Subscribe for more changing content. Uh, like the video if you are so inclined. Follow me on Twitch for future live streams. I don't know when they are. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Yeah, I also put in some uh, workmen and the site construction site using the um, Sarada tools things. So arriving into uh, Peterborough.